So, I've delved more into Kaylin Lau's investigation, and an enormous number of missing person cases center around the EPC. The inspector was definitely onto something. Then let's find that guy and get out fast. If they work out Angel's dead sec before we find him, the nicest thing they'll do is kill him. Summons. I've already taken care of your entry. Get you quick and quiet. Just keep me off their actual system, yeah? Christ knows I don't need any extra attention. No worries. I'll spoon. But come meet me on the rooftop. The only place here that doesn't smell like piss. Got some info for you. The European Processing Center. It processes deportees by stacking them up in squalid conditions and forgetting about them. But hey, it's to protect London, right? What's going on here? This place is worse than a prison camp. Every day I see people come through here, torn from their homes and their families. But I'd rather stay and keep our eye on things. Maybe help out once in a while. Like, no. This is a fucking abomination. Nobody should be treated this way, let alone somebody whose only sin is being unlucky enough to be born in the wrong place. Yeah, well, people have been disappearing. Records say they have been processed, but it doesn't add up. No one ever properly leaves. And with the Kellys prowling around like fucking hyenas, I am not too optimistic about the people slipping through the cracks. Well, that checks out. Mary Kelly has a reek and tentacles choking out half the burrows in the city. True. Now, about your missing guy. The best place to start would be the EPC database. They keep a record of everyone that comes in. And be careful. Pushing the location of the EPC database on your optic. There will be a database here that we can search for evidence on Angel Lopez. What? You're done for now. Twat 
Tell me you found something. I have. His file has been deleted from the main database, along with hundreds of others. Still very detailed. Even when committing crimes against humanity, the government doesn't skimp on paperwork. Here is a recording labelled Exit Interview. You know what we do with terrorists, Lopez? Ah, uh -uh, don't go pissing me off by denying anything. We know you're with DedSec. I think you were picked up on some random sweep. Not a fucking chance. Nothing to say. Hmm. Well, this is not gonna go well for you then, because I want information. The rest of your cell, where are they? I want names, places, everything you've got. You think I'm daft? I spill everything I know and what? You let me go? I'm not talking. I know how this ends. Oh, I don't think you do. I'm going to throw you to the wolves. The Kellys have an interesting way of disposing with problems. You think I'm scared of some fucking thugs? Of winding up floating in the dams? Fuck you! You're too pretty for that, mate. <laughs> First, they'll peddle you. For Dosh, right? Then, when you're used up, they're going to chop you up and send the pieces to the Four Corners. I can take whatever you've got. I almost feel sorry for you. Get him to the bloody clinic, then. Shit. They knew he was dead sick the whole time. This doesn't look good for Angel. The clinic keeps government service hours, which means it's closed. We'll have to find Angel the old-fashioned way and hack their CTOS hub. Deportation limbo, horrible living conditions, unexplained disappearances. It's almost as if the media are deliberately ignoring the situation here in favor of... Oh, look here, Beatrice Stokely, 89, recently took up kickboxing to fill up her days. Fascinating. If the EPC is a typical example of how humans treat each other, I'd say a benevolent AI overlord is a step up, wouldn't you? Ah, sure, it's ugly. I have reconstructed an AR scene of Angel's examination. You can view it inside the clinic. Nicely done.
CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. Let's make a deal, yeah? I know people outside. Maybe I can help you out. J just let me out of here. Procedures, Mr. Lopez. We'll have you out of here in a minute or two. Fuck! What was that? That's some kind of implant. We need a closer look. Facial analysis matches for both. They're part of Mary Kelly's little pack. So, Inspector Lau was right after all. Clank Kelly and Albion are in bed together. What a shit orty that would be. Microchips, coated with biocompatible glass to prevent rejection. Ah, so they put something in his neck. Maybe a tracker? A biometric monitor? No, these are more sophisticated. If I had to guess, I would say they were designed to deliver a dose of some unknown compound. Not the kind of thing you find at your local corner shop. I could reconstruct the path he took if you want to see how this clip hanger gets resolved. Stay on him. He may have gotten away. Fogger! Get him! Before he triggers! Fuck! He's getting away! Get after him! Shit, they're catching up on him. Come on, Angel. Come on, lad, you can do this. Get fucked up. We don't have a match yet. She's going to kill us. No, it's fine. As long as he's not damaged, there'll be no waste. Demand's high with the new network. Guess you're right. Let's tube him, get him in the van, and out to the incinerator. What the fuck was that? That must have been the implant they stuck him with. They must have triggered it remotely. Whatever Mary Kelly is up to, she wants Angel alive. We need to find him, see what they did to him, and what that fucking microchip is all about. Seems like advanced technology for Mary Kelly and her band of thugs to be waving around. Could Mary be part of a scary dark web hacker group like, say, oh, I don't know, pick one, Zero Day? Interesting theory, Bagley, but hold your investigation algorithms for the moment, will you? Angel needs us. The incinerator they mentioned is probably the Southwark incinerator. It's practically right around the corner. Yep. This is where the Kellys took Angel. Jesus Christ, the poor fucker. Now, now, keep your chin up. We'll find him. There's a camera network that might have caught where they took him. Let's hurry and access that network, shall we? Fuck 
to the cellar, but then I ran out of cameras. Not a problem you often have in London. That's the move, then. My oh my, Deadbolt Trump's technology. The door is sealed, but this rubbish chute might do. It either leads to the cellar or your grisly death. Or both, I suppose. Grant, just grant. you what are you waiting for thanks for the distraction gave me the second I needed to take care of this filth Jesus you are right he was about to carve you up like a Sunday roast. He was. I'm fine. I just need a second to catch my breath and find my files. Hold on. You're Caitlin Lau. Police inspector Caitlin Lau, right? We found your video logs. You went after Bloody Mary all by yourself. Very impressive. It wasn't always on my own. Who the hell are... You're dead sick, aren't you? You tracked me to the slaughterhouse. I wish you could say we did. A friend of ours disappeared from the EPC. The trail led here. To this abomination. I was saying some dark shit, but this... Then I'm sorry. I don't think there's much hope for finding him alive. The Kellys have got a sick little operation going. A kind of... human organ black market. I've been investigating them for months. And they got my fucking files. Gotta feel like shit. You should rest. Tell you what, we can get you somewhere safe. Short term, no strings. In the meantime, I'll find Angel in your files. They sound important. Everything I've gathered on Mary Kelly. Almost enough to take her down. Grant, after all this, Dead Sec will be having a closer look at Mary fucking Kelly. Could use all the help we can get. All right, an operative is on their way to escort Inspector Lau. So, let's find Angel and Inspector Lau's files. I'll wait for your guy in here. And thanks for your help. I'm glad we're joining There's no doubt about it. This whole operation is meant to harvest organs. Clan oh. Kelly's chopping off the parts they want and burning the leftovers. Well, I go out on a limb and guess that none of these people volunteer to be donors. Fuck me. Look at these poor bastards. You can't tell one from the other. Bagley, any ideas? Take a picture and I can run key details past various databases.
Unfortunately, I must confirm that this is indeed Angel Lopez. Shit. Angel. He knew the risks. I did too, but... Never thought DedSec would get caught up in this. Mary Kelly is preying on London's most vulnerable. She's a fucking monster. Taking her out needs to be a dead sec priority. Now we need to find Caitlin Lau's case files on Mary Kelly and see if my conjecture may be correct. Could Mary Kelly be in zero day? No, man. I'm never having forty. You shut your gob. Disposal. I don't need to hear that. Well done, you got the files. The inspector will be impressed. Now get out of here before someone decides to turn you into minced meat. Chop chop. No kidding. wanted to thank you. I'd be nothing but an anatomy lesson by now, or a pile of ashes. You'll be happy to know that Inspector Lau has been escorted to a nearby refuge and is getting her wounds treated. I'll be fine. Still a little flighty from whatever they gave me. And frankly, a little stunned that we've joined forces. Don't get me wrong, I'm hardly pleased to see us working with the Feds, but stopping Mary Kelly takes precedence over my own disinclinations. Exactly. You have an organization, I have information, and some backing from powerful people. Pool our resources, and we might just take her down. Mary Kelly's no petty criminal. Bagley, I can't just decide what to do with these foils in the field. Let's get everyone together. I'll sync with Inspector Lau and prepare a briefing. I've heard from Inspector Lau. We're ready for the briefing. heads up the most powerful crime family in London, Clan Kelly, which should at least be easy to remember. Under her old man, they were a bit player. Then he died, and her rivals started disappearing. Her enemies, her friends, her family. They call her Bloody Mary for a reason. Early on, Mary abandoned cash in favor of cryptocurrency and brought the Kelly's criminal business online. It makes weapon smuggling, drug running, money laundering all a lot easier without a cash trail. The woman single-handedly modernized organized crime in London. She considers herself to be untouchable. Case in point, from my files you retrieved. Darla Covington, 19. Sasha Haddad, 28. Radek Stavkovich, 24. All disappeared. It's difficult to find good help these days, isn't it, love? Most people, they ain't driven. Not like you. Because they feel worthless, don't they? The way that the world is, how it uses people. It's horrible. It's nice that you have a purpose. Oh, that'll be me, love. We aren't finished here. This was a courtesy. Give my regards to their families. It's horrible losing someone you love. Nice meeting you, Caitlin. As you can see, she'll never respond to interrogation. But there is one place she feels comfortable talking. The Sandstone Residence. Inspector Lau thinks a police bug in the Kelly's headquarters may have the evidence she needs to finally convict Bloody Mary. Sandstone is their center of operations. I know the data on that bug will take her down. Get it for me, and I swear I'll put her away forever. Pushing the coordinates to your optics. Sabine here, Inspector Lau. I'm curious how you think you can bring Mary Kelly to justice now, with no backing. 
Even before Albion took over policing, you couldn't lock her up. And she goes on treating humans like cattle. I had to work within the system. Yes, it was corrupt. I knew it. I just didn't know how bad it was. I thought a strong enough case couldn't be buried. And those corrupt fucks took advantage of your good nature, Caitlin. So why are you giving them a chance to do it again? Because I'm taking it to a contact in the Attorney General's office. An honest solicitor with a hard-on for organized crime, specifically for Mary Kelly. Look, our methods may differ, but I want to help those people as much as you do. All right, but however this goes down, there's no way we're letting Mary slip the net again. That's not how DedSec does things. Let's get to Sandstone. 